the palliative tools. There are some key palliative tools we suggest to help identify and monitor palliative patients. These are the SPICT, AKPS, phase of illness and disease trajectory. These tools should be used together. Clients suitable for a POI palliative plan or PPA need to meet the SPICT criteria and have an AKPS, phase and trajectory that suggests they are likely in their last 6 to 12 months of life. The tools are also useful for ongoing monitoring of clients and communicating with them and their whānau around what to expect in the future. SPICT This is the Supportive and Palliative Care Indicators tool. It is useful to help identify those of your patients with deteriorating health and may be in their last year of life. This tool has a list of six general indicators of poor or deteriorating health and then some disease-specific indicators. This is a one-off screening tool. If the client meets the criteria, you do not need to use it again unless their condition improves dramatically. If the client does not currently meet the criteria, you can revisit this as their condition changes. A useful time to use the SPICT would be after an unplanned hospitalisation or when a client moves into a higher level of care. AKPS. This is the Australian Modified Karnofsky Performance Scale. This is a measure of a person's performance status or ability to carry out their activities of daily living at a point in time. It is scored from 0 to 100 in intervals of 10. Scores are based on what the client can do for themselves without any assistance at the time of assessment. This is most helpful if done regularly at each point of contact in general practice or daily in residential care. Ongoing monitoring will help record a client's trajectory. An AKPS of 40 to 60% is an ideal time to look at having conversations around palliative planning as clients are needing increased support. Phase of illness. This identifies a clinically meaningful episode in a patient's illness. The phases are stable, Client's condition is unchanged. Unstable, acute events not related to the client's main condition such as a fall, infection or other complications. It also includes when deterioration is considerably more rapid than expected. Deteriorating, when changes observed are expected or dying, the terminal phase of life. Planning conversations are best done when a client is stable to allow time for decision making. However, it can also be done during unstable and deteriorating phases. When used regularly in conjunction with the AKPS and trajectory, it adds another dimension to assess where the client may be on their palliative journey. Disease trajectory. This describes the typical changes in functional status or AKPS over time for different illnesses. There are three main patterns of changes that can be observed. Typically for cancer, Clients may be high functioning for a period of time with rapid deterioration as disease burden increases. For chronic organ failure such as heart and lung disease, the client's baseline function will deteriorate over a longer time frame with unstable episodes such as an exacerbation of their disease or an infection. These episodes may also increase in frequency towards end of life. And for clients with dementia, frailty or neurological conditions, they can have a prolonged period of fluctuating low function and high care needs.